Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. So today I have done a bit of work over here, uh, and it's taking a bit of time, so I'm going to get a bit off building here, but I've done quite a lot. You might see that this land is a bit different than before, and uh, you might also see that... Um, this is a bit different <laughs> than before. If I remember, I'm going to place in a picture of how it was. Well, well the last thumbnail, actually. If I remember, if I don't, then yeah. Look at the last thumbnail. Um, but this is how it is now. And uh, I think it has turned out rather good, actually. Um, some of the walls are a bit plain. There's going to be more details. I know that's what I always say. But that is how it is. Also, I need to fill out all of this with water and also continue the terraforming and stuff around this way and add some more water in that direction. So you can see there's a lot of water that needs to be poured into here, but it has it has turned out rather great actually. Still a few blocks that need to be rearranged and stuff like that, but, but that's just... Uh, that's going to be done while, once I also add in some different textured blocks and some leaves and vines maybe even. But we also got a little bit of a wandering trader here. No, nothing too exciting with the traits, but nice none. The, list. the only problem right now is I don't really have a way to get out from here. So for now the only way is to jump around a bit like like this and then hope for the best and uh, that wasn't the best actually but but yeah so today i was thinking i need some building blocks for the house over there um, whatever the house actually might turn out to be but the building blocks i want are from the nether so i think today we are going to do a little bit of some nether Exploration, nothing too extraordinary. I'm going to leave. I really would like an end chest. Do I have? I actually think I can make one, and I have the silk touch pickaxe here. So let's just take a quick look and see if I have an end pearl. Do it? Do, do it need to be an ender eye? Eye fender. I actually don't remember. I also need some. Obsidian only have one. Okay, so you're not, not quite there. And I actually think it might have to be an ender eye as well. So we're a little bit off there, but that's fine. Also, I am going to build some more houses here soon. I'm thinking actually of making an episode where it's just a lot of house building time lapses maybe. But, but that's going to be in... Not this episode. Okay, so I'm probably going to take a little bit more food with me. Also, going to sleep because it's almost night time. And also just going to admire the view here. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Yes, that's French. I mean, quite cool. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Mr. International over here. Okay, some more. Wheat. Another 21 just because that's what we get from a stack of well, 63 of those wheat things. Wheat is not really a problem here because I have this farm, carrots and potatoes as well, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. I'm, before we go to the nether, I am going to make a quick stop in the keep because there's something up there I want to show you as well. Uh, I have added some stairs here, or slabs I guess. And those are leading all the way up here, so it's a little bit easier. You can also see the different end difference in grass color. It's a bit dull up here, but but it's going to be a lot better once we get some path blocks in here. Okay, so this is the keep, and I have actually made a tunnel. <laughs> it's so barren looking still, but I've made a tunnel here, and that is going to, of course, be covered up so it's not in a cave and it goes all the way down to the mine shaft well the mine area shaft place something <laughs> yes i know okay so we actually need to make a few more blocks of iron here let's just see how many i can make another 23 
so we are over over a stack of fan blocks. That's a lot. Okay, anyways, but but the reason why I did that is basically just to have some some easier way to get from the mine and up to the keep because I my plan is to make the keep here the main storage area. Also, I'm going to expand it down here, so maybe even take this and go down that way and use this area as well. That's going to be in the future. I also need to mine a lot of leaves and also make a way over here. So just a quick thing here, right? So I am going to build this entire area over here up. Is that the same one? Why are you over there now? I'm going to build this entire area up the same way as I have done over here, but, but just keeping the the level at least on that level there but but then just follow the the terrain so some of it is actually going to get almost as tall as this and i think it's going to look rather cool well hopefully <laughs> we never know but hopefully and yes i need a lot of leaves too because i want some leaves here basically as guard rails on on this area so we don't fall down and then also over here just to add some more details and well as soon as the water is placed it's going to be a lot better then here there's going to be a bridge over there it's going to be a long bridge actually i didn't really think of that too much but it's going to be an absolutely long bridge over there but not, not that that's that's a problem but it's just just hit me okay hit me bridge one more time I'm j I, I just can't get over how it actually turned out i i know it's a bit messy and it's going to be even more messier once we get the other things done. And this terraforming project is actually turning out a lot bigger than expected. Uh, let's just cover that to obsidian. This one as well. I just don't want to accidentally fall into lava. So there we go. I don't think there's any more lava. Perfect. Okay. Don't really need the water bucket in the nether could use some more torches but that doesn't really matter either torches are just for showing the the way mainly okay so what i need in the nether is well um some with the skeletons apparently and also a lot of this black stony stone here first of all i'm just going to cover up most of this lava here that's the unfortunate part of this being in the nether, I can just use water to block it off. But that's going to be fine. Then hopefully there's not going to be any lava here because... Oh, there is some over here. I actually think I'm going to do something like this just because if lava decides to run over the portal... I'm pretty sure it's going to break the portal, right? And that would be rather unfortunate. The only good thing about this is I don't actually think there's going to be any bigger lava legs in this area. I mean, there's going to be a lot of lava, but I think most of them are going to be just one block high. And that's a good thing. Also, I'm pretty sure I can hear magma cube somewhere. And uh, we do like some magma creams for some enchant no not enchantment but brewing in the future. So mainly this is actually I, I need the resources, but it's also just to make the portal area a bit clearer, so you don't have so much to worry about once I get out here. I have a lot of space to, to fight mobs if there's going to be like a giant, I don't know, weather spawning or something. <laughs> you never know, might happen, might happen. Okay, so this is going to be enough for now. Just get the rest over here. Yes, I know I'm using the blocks I'm mining, but that's fine. I do have a little bit of blackstone and a lot of salt and a lot of lava around here as well. Okay, so we need to get over there. I'm just going to fill in all this up. I really would like to not die. Should I 
Should I actually have taken a golden helmet or something with me, you know, to prevent the pack lens for attacking me? Might have been a good idea, but but that's too late now. Also, my mouse is about out of um, power, so it's it's right now plugged into my computer. Normally, it's cordless. And uh, that's also a problem because I don't have quite the same movement with it. So a fight would probably kill me, to be honest. And I know, yes, I know I'm using all the blocks I just mined. Um, and that's a little bit stupid. Okay, I did actually take a lot more cobblestone with me, so I should probably just use that. Okay, I think here yeah, the smartest way is to go around. So to get some blocks with the around going let's just go this way and then hopefully not get into any bigger lava lakes here is yes, it I know I just said there's not going to be any and uh, I hope I'm right but you never know you never know actually a fun fact about the nether um, I have never actually gotten netherite because I haven't really played too much with the new updates to the nether. So yeah, no netherite tools or armor or anything. Well, the legit way I obviously have gotten some in creative world and stuff like that, but that's not something we talk about. Look at this, the perfect height. The perfect height. And now I'm right above lava, that's not so... Not so convenient. There we have it. A terrible fortress. I see skeleton and some... I see some places over there in the distance. Let's see here. I would like to not fight all the places. Is that a spawner? I think that might be a spawner. You know what? He's stupid and have forgotten a shield. Into fire. We now got the first. Nope. I, I missed. Clicked. I was going to f going for the cobblestone to block him off, but it's fine. Okay, I saw a scully boy over here. I also saw him with a skull, scully boy, right next to it. Okay, would you please stop that? Those guys are way too hard hitting. And I was stuck on the edge there. Oh! <laughs> that was a close one. Come on, get one piece down there. And there we are. Three diamonds. Two saddles and a horse armor. Nice. I also always take the chests with me because... I know if I don't, I'm going to forget that I have looted it. And then I'll just run all the way down there to check the chest and realize it's empty. Some gold and another diamond horse armor. So, okay, that's that's actually rather funny. Three diamonds, three gold ingots, and three iron ingots. Also, there is a golden chest plate. If I decide to do some trading with the piglins, they're not going to attack me. Some more gold and some more iron. Just checking around here because I think it's a dead end. It is indeed. That's a lag spike. Actually, I, I just remember, remember something. I'm going to turn the brightness just up a tiny bit. Uh, though I do like playing on a lot lower. Because, well, I just do. But it might be a little bit hard to see, actually. Uh, it seems like diamonds might be a lot rarer than I was expecting. Another gold armor, another saddle. Don't really need the flint and steel. Do like the gold armor, though. Another chest, number six. I mean, that makes sense when the last one was number five. A few more diamonds. I don't need the 
saddles, but I'll take the chest. I, well, I would actually like. Let's just take one of them. I don't need this cobblestone. I don't need this sword. And we are going back home. Right in a second. Because I think I think this might actually be most of, of this thingy here. Because I have checked there. I have checked there. There. So, and, and down there, obviously. There's a little bit of stuff in that direction over here. Yes, okay. I think we've explored everything now. Let's mm, go to the portal. And hopefully we're going... If, if we get a scaly skull from that guy, I will do something incredible spectacular. Going to get him to follow me here. Just because I don't want to fight him while places shoot at me. Also, I got none. Nothing. Oh, that's not... Okay, that's a ghast. Going to return to sender. There we go. Can I get some more blackstone, please? There's some over there and some over here. Let's just get some of this. Okay. You serious? Hopefully it's not going to turn off the portal. Nice. I mean, that's insanely unlucky, right? Right. 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 Okay, I'm... And this is not working out for me. Let's just go down here a bit. I just need, like, half a stack of blackstone. There. Okay, now I have some. Then I'm going to mine, go mine some off-camera when I don't have all the things on me. Uh, this direction. Now we can also see it once again, this nice looking area. It is going to be so much better once the water is over there. All spread out and spread out, I guess. But I am going to dig it down first and then fill it up with, with water and then remove this area because because if I have like a one wide here right so if I remove everything like this so there's one wide block here it should if I'm not too mistaken it should all form infinite water source blocks because water source blocks does form on top of each other right I just can't remember if they do form beneath each other as well Anyways, we're going to find out once we get a little bit closer. Let's uh, get up here. It's a bit inconvenient not having a... Okay, that shouldn't work like that. It's a bit inconvenient that I don't have an actual way up here, but that's just how it is, I guess. Okay, we got some valuables. Let's go over to the, the house thing and store them there. I thought I heard something breaking a block there. Um, not you. <laughs> no, I'm rather discriminating here, aren't I? Just saying I don't want all the chests. But but I think it would be a good idea to just start out doing a few chests up here just to have them. So it's not too barren. Let's take a few blocks of stone. I do think I might also need a, just a tiny bit of... I mean, I can make stone into stone brick, but... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, so why I need the stone was to fill out this area. What? Oh, you you probably fell down because you can spawn up there. Yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, so I actu actually, I'm not going to do that. I want the other pickaxe here. This is going to be a little, like, a secret area here. Then, oh, well, actually, from here, let's say we need some stone bricks here. So this area is going to be blocked off, right? And then we go down, block here. Then this entire area is going to be a few... Oh, I actually know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I didn't... Done just a bit in here, nothing down there yet, but just a bit in here. As you can see, some of the walls have been filled out. There's a few doors in place, 
and let's start with this one. This one leads down here to a little area, <laughs> nothing in here yet, but I was thinking making it a, a secret exit because right here is just out to this area, so it would be a, a great little just quick escape route. Then if we go back up here, there's another door in here to another room. Once again, nothing in here. I did move this window thingy one up because it was right there and that was a bit annoying. And then I have another set of stairs going up here to another door and now we are up here. So the only problem is that I was thinking of maybe it's a little bit too... Not so much height in here. There's not so much height in here, that's what I'm trying to say. Also, it's getting night time. Also, my brightness is still way up. Uh, but that's just how it is. I'm going to change that at the end of this episode. But yeah, I think I think I'm, I might want to do it a little bit higher up. Also, if you realized, this is dark oak stairs or slaps or blocks or whatever. Um, I don't know why I decided that, but but I think it actually is rather nice looking. And I think it's a good contrast to most of the other things. Okay, so so I think that is what's going to be here. Down here, most of my, my quick grab resources is going to be in chests, and then up upstairs is going to be the more um, bulk storage, I think, is the plan. Also, right now, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the floor in here, but I am thinking either stuff like that. <laughs> well, actually, just just hear me out here for a second. Uh, this is a bad idea to have any. I don't, but I am actually thinking using... Let's just do it over here. I'm actually thinking of using these. Just because it's a bit of a, once again, contrast to the other rooms. And uh, it's not... not what, what am I trying to say here? It's something I haven't done any other places, so it might actually be good looking. Uh, then I might actually... Well, what is he doing here? It might actually do... Okay, that's the only problem with these guys. I might actually do like a checkers pattern here like this checker che is that the word grease is the word just like so let's do these two here as well does that look fine actually I actually words again I actually think I like that so so that's going to be the style here in this room but really I don't have time for anything more today so let's just take these down and I'm going to do some off-camera work in here and also gathering some more spruce because I know I know I have another stack but like a few episodes ago I had somewhere around five stacks of spruce locks and I don't anymore but that is going to be it for today so I hope you enjoyed if you did please Make sure to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well if you want to see more. Also, um, I am thinking of starting just to make a few more tutorials on the channel. I have made a, a few here the last the last week and I think two here the last week. And uh, I do actually like making tutorials, so I am probably going to do that. Not going to make building tutorials, but I am going to make like... Well, well when I say building, I mean buildings tutorials. Um, but I am probably going to be some redstone contraptions maybe or or stuff like that i think i think i think that's a good idea right um, but that is going to be it for today so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one